Hi friends, welcome to News Report channel. If you like my videos, please subscribe and comment me. It was September 15, 2013 that Narendra Modi addressed an ex-serviceman rally at Haryana as the Bhatia Janati Party's prime ministerial candidate, where he falsified superiated the demand of one rank, one pension for all soldiers. Mr. Modi was the campaigning in poetry, and nine years later, as the Agnipath scheme for recruitment of short-term contract soldiers was announced. He has been forced to contend with the reality of governing in prose. However, had the government way try to obfuscate the driving factor for this U-turn from one rank, one pension to no rank, no pension, his economics. Financial motivations The one rank, one pension demand became tricky to fulfill once Mr. Narendra Modi became Prime Minister, but it was officially instituted in November 2015 for more than 25 lakh defence pensioners. It came with an immediate annual financial implication of 7,123 crore and the actual arrears from July 1, 2014 to December 31, 2015 were 10,392 crore. The financial burden increased cumulatively over time and has substantially increased the budgetary expenditure on defense pensions. In the current financial year, 1,19,696 crore has been budgeted for pensions, along with another 1,63,453 crore for salaries, that is 54% of allocation for the defense ministry. It has been argued that savings in the pension bill which will show up on the books only after a couple of decades, would be directed towards the modernization of defense forces. The armed forces do not have the kind of time available to the, them to postpone their already long-delayed modernization. The money must come now. The Indian Air Force is already down to 30 squadrons of fighter jets against 42 quadrants. It needs and the Indian Navy is 130 ships when its vision was to be a 200 ship navy. The Indian Army is already short of 1 lakh soldiers. The announcement of the Agnivir scheme is an implicit acknowledgement that the Indian economy is incapable of supporting the armed forces that India needs. It faces an active military threat from two adversaries. China and Pakistan, and the internal security challenges in Kashmir and the northeastern states. These relatives cannot be wished away. Instead of expanding the economy to support the military, the government has resorted to shrinking the military. Thank you for watching, friends. Please subscribe.